Yeah. Turn me up. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm on the way up. 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 Yo, what's up, YouTube? Back at you with another video on today. It is the Keeping It Raw podcast. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Click that bell so that you'll be notified whenever we put up an upload. Also, hit the word all so that you'll see all the notifications on this channel definitely guys uh, we got a good one for you on today we're going to spotlight a free agent in the 2024 nfl free agency uh we're going to talk about defensive tackle javon kinlaw but uh definitely man if you like draft talk and you like uh free agency talk you come to the right channel because that's what we're all about on raw podcast all right guys let's get right into it now we know that there's a lot of things that the lions need to do but um defensively we know the Lions need to get better in 2024. If this team wants to get back to another NFC championship, and not only to an NFC championship, but to eventually make it to a Super Bowl. Now, the Lions have been to the championship before, and uh, that's the furthest that the Lions have ever made it. And uh, definitely, man, you want this team to finally get the monkey off their back and eventually make it to the Super Bowl, and not only make it to the Super Bowl, but eventually have a chance to win it. Now, in order to do that, you know, the Detroit Lions did bring back everybody. Uh, AG is coming back as the defensive coordinator, and uh, Ben Johnson is coming back as the offensive coordinator, and we already know who the captain at helm is. That is Motor City, uh, Dan Campbell. He is running the show with Brad Holmes being the GM, going out there and getting those fine draft picks, what he does every single season, and also making sure – that the Lions upgrade in free agency as well. Now, in order for the Lions to be a successful football team, uh, to repeat and be like a team like the Kansas City Chiefs that continue to get into the postseason, the Lions are going to have to get talent on this team. Definitely, we know that uh, they need to add another corner on this team. We know that they need to get another um, defensive tackle. We know that they need to get uh, another defensive end. Uh, and there's a few other holes that they can sprinkle probably on the defense as well. Maybe double up on corners, maybe grab another linebacker as well. Um, there's things that they can do. But uh, right now, we know that the Detroit Lions currently, um, they're getting prepared for the offseason. And what that means is Brad Holmes is going to have to take out his big board and he's going to have to figure out what he's going to do to get this team better in 2024. And if you look at a guy like Javon Kinlaw, who's a young guy, uh, definitely, I think that he could be added to the Detroit Lions roster to make this team even better. He stands at about six foot five, three hundred pound monster in the middle, and that's uh, a guy that you can get a push from. Him and Broderick Martin on that line together, man, woo, man, it'd be crazy because you know Aleem McNeil is pretty, pretty much he's a very, very talented guy and great in stopping the run. But Aleem, uh, uh, Aleem McNeil is one of those guys that is undersized. And you want to be able to get some size on that line. And definitely Javon Kinlaw brings that. He's a dude that plays angry out on the field and would love to have the additions of a Javon Kinlaw on the team. Now, his market value is saying that he would probably end up with getting a, a new year, uh, a new deal for two years, uh, reportedly worth around 10 million, 10.8 million. And then his average salary would be around 5.4 million. And uh, definitely, man, I think that that's not a bad deal for a guy like Javon Kinlaw, who is still young and has three years of NFL experience. And he is a former first round pick. He was picked 14th overall. So last season, uh, the numbers that he put up stat wise, he had 25 tackles. He had 12 assisted tackles and three and a half uh, sacks. And the Detroit Lions can add to the addition of having somebody like this on the team, man, I definitely think that Javon Kinlaw would help the Detroit Lions uh, have one of the best defensive lines in the NFL. If you want to be a successful team, you have to have a great defense in the NFL. Most of the teams uh, in the NFL that make it to the postseason have good defenses. Guys like um, the 49ers, they have a good defense. Um, the Baltimore Ravens, they have a good defense. So there's a lot of teams in the NFL that have good defenses and you don't want to continue to be at the bottom with your defense. You want to be a top 15 defense in the NFL. 
Not saying that you can, you know, you can be at the bottom and still not make it into the playoffs and make a run because the playoffs is all about getting hot at the right time. You get hot at the right time and you'll find yourself in the Super Bowl. And, uh, you know, that's what Kansas City did. You know, they pretty much went on a roll and was able to beat um, not only the Buffalo Bills, but also the Baltimore Ravens, who was favored to win the Super Bowl this season. But I think at the end of the day for the Detroit Lions, adding a guy like Javon Kinlaw, man, would definitely be a great thing for the Lions. I think he'll be a great addition to the team in the offseason. And he would bolster that uh, defensive line. And that's what they need. They need dogs, man. From here on out to finalize the last pieces to the Detroit Lions defense, they're going to have to go out and get dogs, whether it be uh, a Daniil Hunter at defensive end, Josh uh, Allen, or either um, Brian Burns or whoever they can get to be that pass rushing guy alongside Aiden Hutchinson. But having a guy like Javon Kinlaw up the middle would not be bad for the Detroit Lions. All right, guys, make sure you hit that subscription button. Yeah. Turn me up. Coming, but I'm on the way up. I'm on the way up.